six month child with wheezes, fever, tracheal uh, tag, subcostal recession, nasal discharge. What will you uh, do to make the diagnosis? Of course, we will go for nasolaryngeal and aspirate. This is bronchiolitis. Chest x ray will not uh, show the wheezes. Blood culture, sputum culture will not show the bronchiolitis. The most common cause of bronchiolitis is the rotavirus infection. Nasopharyngeal uh, as, as, uh, as pyrite for uh, analysis would be the best option. Pregnant lady, sudden severe headache at vertex, vomit once, blood pressure was uh, elevated. What is the next? She is pregnant, sudden severe headache. I told you in a pregnant lady with sudden severe headache. No, this is this is new for you. I didn't speak about it. Whenever you have a, a pregnant lady. Let's say, let's back, it's not a pregnant lady. What is the most common cause of sudden severe headache? Who can tell me? What is the most common cause of sudden severe headache? We take many scenarios about that. Yes, absolutely, you are right. It is subarachnoidal hemorrhage. Okay, now again, what is the most common headache in a pregnancy? What is the most common headache in a pregnant lady? It is migraine. What is the most common headache, the most common type of headache in pediatric age group? It is migraine. What is the most common headache in a lady not a pregnant, but the headache is just pre or post menstrual cycle? It is also migraine. Now, what is the most important thing that a pregnant make a pregnant lady get sudden, sudden severe headache? This is this is very important because it has one differential diagnosis. It has just it is I think we speak about it. It is pituitary apoplexy, Sheehan syndrome. Yes, I remember it. We speak about it. And as I told you before, please, please, as I told you in another topic. In the topic of hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism, when TSH is normal and we have uh, thinking that there's a problem in the pituitary, what is the investigation for pituitary? It is the MRI. So even here we are, we have a problem in the pituitary gland. The investigation is the MRI. The investigation for the pituitary is the MRI. So, in this lady, we will go for MRI. The recall, uh, the recaller didn't aware about the whole scenario about this topic at all. Okay, the uh, exact the uh, investigation you will see MRI in your choices. Please confirm your understanding for what I said of differential diagnosis for headache. All of them, we took them in another uh, discussion for another month. I hope you are well oriented about them. Just this one, okay. Now Down syndrome patient come with her care caregiver 
with a compliance of intra uh, interministerial bleeding for about four months. She has the recent history of skin infection. She doesn't want to want you to allow to examine her and just want to talk you about her skin infection. What you will do? Of course, we will uh, we will examine her under GA. No, arrange for ultrasound. No, we will ask her about the knowledge of. Uh, Enter uh, menstrual bleeding. We will speak with her. A few days ago, um, I don't remember two days ago, uh, Doctor Brianka, you you asked me a question about uh, uh, taking taking speak to, to the patient. I don't remember it very well. Please share it with us. So I want to comment it, to comment on it for the group. I guess it was uh, this one uh, about the swab. Mm -hmm. uh, so the patient, uh, actually, I don't remember it completely. Okay, it was. Uh, I told you that um, whenever patient patient refused to do uh, examination or patient refused to take medication. And the patient, I remember it, the patient was schizophrenia. Uh, she sent me a question that uh, schizophrenic patient and this patient uh, uh, was already on the in the hospital. He was admitted in the hospital. But uh, days by days, the patient start to refuse the treatment. So what is your next step? Your next step is to inform her, his uh, caregiver or uh, his person that has the autonomy or to speak with the patient or to uh, do the intervention uh, forcefully. Of course, in your exam, whenever you get a mentally retarded patient, or psychic patient, even if psychic patient, he's already under your care in your hospital, for example, before, before, please, before informing anyone, if you have the option to speak with the, this patient, speak with this patient, not to go for informing someone, not to go for doing the exam, not to go for giving the treatment, speak with the patient, try to uh, make this patient agree for your intervention. So here we have to ask her about the knowledge or something, just speak to the patient. Mentally retarded, schizophrenic, refusing for your intervention, just speak to the patient. Okay, everyone? That was the question, Dr. Priyanka. Okay, everyone, please. Okay, let's start, let's take a few minutes rest. <laughs> 